Welcome to another episode of Beyond Choose the Detective Gomez Files. I'm your host, Detective Gomez. How's everyone doing today? Uh, today on our show, we have Erica is going to be on our show today. And she has a story about infidelity that you're not going to believe that happened to her just recently in the last two weeks. So, Erica, how are you doing today? I'm doing better now, Detective Gomez. I am doing better. Doing better. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's talk about, uh, I know we talked about you in our pre-interview. You're, mm-hmm. You've been married for eight years to a guy mm-hmm. named George. And tell us about George, how you met him, and how y'all became husband and wife. So long story short, we he been we met at a pizza parlor where he wanted to, you know, he flirted with me a little bit and uh-huh. everything. Right. But at the time I was with someone, so I was like, no, let me, you know, I wasn't trying to talk to him. But the me and the other guy broke up and then I didn't see George anymore right. for a couple of weeks. And so just so happened we met up not met up, but, you know, had lunch at the same spot again. Okay. Uh, he worked at one place and I worked at another. And we just so happened. And then I was not uh, with anyone. I was single. So then mm-hmm. I took his number and took him for, uh, you know, took him up and called him. And so we talked and dated and everything. About a year passed, he proposed to me. And then we got married at probably about seven, eight months. Eight months after he proposed. Okay. So, so yeah. y'all get y'all get married. Things are going well. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you have a wedding type thing? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We had a nice big, um, simple wedding. It was big but simple. It was just close friends and family. Um, due to the fact of big is because I have a big family, so okay. that's why we had a big wedding. About two hundred people there. Wow, that's, that's um, a big wedding. Yeah. Yeah. But I have a large family, so it was people like close family, not just Uncle Charles from whatever, you know, but it was right. a nice, big, nice wedding. Well, let's, you know, let's uh, let's break up the party and get right into the nitty gritty, so to speak. So let's talk <laughs> about, uh, uh, you know, obviously, let's talk about these red flags that you went through with. Um, the first red flag was that he always stayed in his uniform, no matter what, wherever Mm -hmm. he went, it was just like his wardrobe. But when he started coming home and changing clothes to street clothes, that was a major red flag for me. All right. So he starts coming home in street clothes. He's not in his uniform anymore. So he's going someplace and changing somewhere, right? Yeah, no, he actually will go come home and change out the oh. uniform and then leave home. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. So, which that was like, you never change your clothes to go anywhere. And I'm sure you're like, well, where, where is he going? Right. And, and me being the wife that I am, I never questioned him because, you know, I had at the time, I didn't have a reason to question. And he was like, oh, I'm just going here and then I'm going back to work. And I was like, well, you're going back to work in your uniform? And he was like, yeah, I'm just going to do a little something here. All right. All right. No problem. Or he'll leave and say, hey, I'm going to go ride my motorcycle. Okay. Okay. No problem. That makes a little bit more sense. But again, he usually do everything in his uniform. Okay. So you, um, so a couple of red flags start to show up. He's changing his clothes, taking off, leaving the house. You talk about in your pre-interview how you caught him the first time. Tell us about how you caught him the first time. So the first time it was the, like we say, this just happened. It was the uh, NBA finals. And it was that Monday night where he didn't, you know, come home um, or whatever, which I don't require you to come home. I'm not your PO officer. Just let me mm-hmm. know where you're at. And that's what you usually do. Like, hey, I'm going here, whatever the case may be. But he did not call me. And it was getting late and he didn't call me. Now, I just learned prior to that Saturday that he shared his location with me. I okay. did not know that until that Saturday prior to. And he, when he was sharing his location, so I looked. And he was at a residence that I was not familiar with. So I just went over there to see and then 
approach him or anything. So I just came back home and I said, hey, who live at da 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 road? Right, right. Oh, he paused. It's my coworker. Oh, okay. Your coworker? Is that a female or a male or a female? Oh, oh, oh. It's a female. Oh, oh, okay. So you was at a female house at 12 o'clock at night and not inform your, well, it was other people there. See, he didn't know that I was already there and right. looking to see. No one else was there. It was just your truck. I'm sorry to tell you. I already know. But at that so, time, I didn't get video. Right. But but you knew he was lying about it, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. But I didn't say anything. I was okay. Like, oh, okay. Y'all had an all-star or NBA final game. That's fine. No problem. So come that Wednesday again, no call, no show. Didn't even come home for dinner this time. Okay. Mm -hmm. No worries. So this time I left and remembered to get my video. My inner detective Gomez said, always record. <laughs> I <laughs> so appreciate this that. Time, <laughs> I got the I didn't approach him or nothing. I just got the video of the truck in front of the house. Again, okay. I didn't say anything. Okay. Documentation. It's okay. Yeah, that's it. Surveillance documentation. Number three was okay. He left and went out of town. I didn't know that he went out of town um, because I was out of town and everything. But our kids, yes, I have we have kids. Okay, our children. kids was just coming back um, and they was at the house and everything. Um, she asked me where where's dad and I was like, um, he should be there. And he was, she was like, no, dad's not here. I was like, it's 630 in the morning. Where is that? She's like, I don't know. I thought you knew. No, I'm out of town. She said, yeah, I know. So she got quiet and she looked. She said, why is dad at a Best Western? Wow. Right. That's how I found out he went out of town through our daughter. So I said, and and oh. uh, where was he at? Is he in the uh, state of Texas? Correct. Yes, he was still in Texas. And everything. Okay. Um, three hours away. So I was like, hmm. That's a good question. So I called him and I asked him, and he said, Oh, I just have to get away to clear mm -hmm. my head. And then I said, like, Oh, are you by yourself? He said, Yes, I'm by myself. You don't trust me? Yes, I'm by myself. I, was I, like, I, I love it when they say that. You don't trust me? <laughs> right. I was like, I didn't say I didn't trust you. I was just asking you by yourself. I was like, All right, well, what time are you coming? He said, I'll be back in town by three. I was like, Okay, fine, whatever. So I asked my daughter, and I didn't want to get her involved, but mm -hmm. I had to. I said, hey, um, can you just let me know when your dad gets closer to this location? And she was like, okay. So she did, and I was there waiting. And I, when I was there now, waiting. Well, now, <laughs> now, now, you know, when we on the TV show, we, when we were there waiting and and anticipation for these people to show up when they're cheating how, how, how did you feel when you were there waiting for them to show up knowing they were heading your way oh it was being drilling and rush just kept building and building i don't know if it was a mix of anger or disappointment frustration mm -hmm. um i mean it was a lot of ball of emotions just yeah. all in me but as you when i sent you the video i stay remain calm and did my like hey what we got going here, guys? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I didn't, yeah. get, I didn't get the invitation. Right. I didn't know we had road trip time. What's going on here? And and I asked him, I said, oh, I thought you was by yourself. You was getting her bag out the back of the truck, and she was sitting in the passenger seat. So mm -hmm. I thought you was by yourself. And I saw the video you sent me, and I appreciate mm -hmm. that. She had this look on her face like... Uh, she saw a ghost. I saw a ghost or a dog with a tail yeah. between your legs. Like mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm with somebody else's husband look, you know? Right. And, and she just didn't look like she was very, very happy in the position where she was at and almost kind of just looking down to the ground, like in, in a very, very distraught way to where, you know, I guess I'm busted. And now I guess now his wife has found out that I'm sleeping with her husband. Right, right, exactly, like exactly, exactly, all of the above. Oh. Yes, 
And the crazy thing about it is that mm -hmm. she, they both yelled out, well, she's married too. So is that an excuse? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. So does that make it any better? They were like, we wasn't doing nothing. I was like, but if you ran off with my husband and not my husband not tell me where I was at, and I know that your husband didn't know mm -hmm. where you was at, so why we have to hide your friendship? And then they was like, oh, just you just been this and that and petty. Okay, whatever. I said, um, good luck with this and everything. But, you know, as you can see in the video, he downgraded, right? <laughs> well, let me ask you that question. Okay, so you see this other woman, okay, and women do this all the time. I don't care if you're black, white, Mexicans, Hispanics. Asian, they always want to compare themselves to the other woman. Okay. So you're mm -hmm. looking at this girl and you're going, wow. That's what Sk you chose. Exactly. <laughs> from, from, a scale, from a scale one to 10, what would you give her? I like her eyelashes. So I give her a two. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Because I think that's it. We'll give her a no. Okay. You, uh, you give her a two. <laughs> a All two. Right. And that's, that's just being nice because. Like I said, that I am at so much peace with this. Mm. So I'm I'm in my nice phase right now. So yeah, I give her a good two, you know. Okay. I mean, he downgraded for sure. You know, is it that's what tickles your fanny now. You, you know, Erica, people always say, and you hear this all the time, the truth you know, shall set you free. Do you feel like right here? You mean because you you don't you you seem upset, but you seem kind of happy in a way, like 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 now you know, you yes. know. Oh, I am totally mentally free from knowing, um, because that was the what was aggravating me and making me upset. Of I know you just didn't come to me and um, just act like I did something to you to ask for ask for a divorce out of right. the blue. That I know it, that that was the part. But once I found that what was going on and where he was at and all that stuff, that made everything so much easier for me. And where I can sit here and laugh and smile and and everything due to the fact of I know it wasn't me. And you know the truth, but you mm -hmm. followed. You can say can we say honestly that you followed your gut feeling can we say that your, yes. your gomez gut feeling can you my say that gomez i uh, yes and that's what i told you i said i followed my gomez gut and it did not lie to me and so i hey that gomez gut got me my peace and you got your peace of mind and now you know the truth so now anything he tells you now say okay i know, I know where you're at i know you're lying to me we're filing for a divorce and eventually right. you'll go your way and i'll go mine that's fine but you didn't outsmart me i outsmarted you exactly and that's that's all of what people need to really understand and learn from this experience and i'm not trying to be on here trying to bash him or whatever hey people are going to be people but mm -hmm. to protect yourself just follow your gut feeling that's what one my message is today is follow your gut feeling because nine times out of ten it is going to be correct right yeah and and you know that person this is your husband yeah you yes, know that person know better than person. anybody else you know right. I, I had a you know people ask me well how long will it take for you to catch my husband cheating or wife cheating i said i don't know i'm not married to him you are you know right. and so right. you know when your husband's acting different you knew when he was acting funny you, and you knew when he was lying too much, like none of it was making sense. And you followed your gut and got to the bottom of it and found the truth. Yeah. And that's what you need to do is just you, like you said, you know what their patterns are. Mm -hmm. um, and then not to go for the men, but men are a creature of habit. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> Y'all are creature of habits. And so once you're mate, uh tends to step out especially the husbands tends to break a habit of what they do daily that's when you should just not say always look into it but look into it break the habit of what they do daily i like mm -hmm. how you say that i like that mm -hmm. i like that 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 that's really good and and follow your gut right yes. 
yes, it will get you your peace that, you know, this something is not right. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up with that. Ladies and gentlemen, follow your gut and it will get you your peace, according to Erica. Right, Erica? Exactly. A hundred percent. And and right now you're 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 smiling and <laughs> you're 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 gonna be single here pretty soon and life's good now. Right. You know, I got my smile back and everyone asked me why am I smiling? Because I followed the gut and got my peace. There, there you go. Well, Erica, we want to thank you for sharing your story today. We really appreciate that. Uh, I know it's tough to talk about sometimes, but you found you found the truth and now you're ready yeah. to move on. Yeah. So Thank you so much for being part of the show today. And we really, really appreciate that. Okay. Thank and, you for uh, having me. We'll see. We'll see you next time. Take care. And, uh, you know, keep, you know, we just really, really appreciate you sharing your story because I think you're going to help somebody else. There's so many people that are afraid to follow their guts. They got the feeling they're just afraid to make that move. And once you made that move, you got the truth. Right. Exactly. All right. That's all we're here for the truth. That's right. All right, Erica, thanks for being part of the show today, and uh, we'll see you next time. And ladies and gentlemen, uh, we want to. Th Erica did a fine job of sharing her uh, story today. We also want to thank our sponsor, Mr. Juan Hernandez. You can contact him at 214-900-0000 or visit him at juanlaw.com. It's 214-900-0000. He can help you in an 18-wheeler accident, automobile accident, or slip and fall. He's helped me, and I know he can help you. So please contact him. And also, we want to shout out to our other sponsor, uh, Victoria Nava. She's a divorce attorney here in the Dallas, Texas area, and she can help you if you're going through a divorce or even thinking about a divorce. Call and get some lawyer advice before you actually file because you don't want to. Sometimes you want to file too early, sometimes you want to file too late. But get some advice from a professional. And Victoria is the person to talk to. She can help you get through your divorce and make the right decision, protect your assets, protect your bank accounts, and protect your children. She can help you do that. Okay? Thank you for being our, part of our show today. We'll see you next time on Beyond Cheaters, the Detective Gomez Files. This is Detective Gomez, everybody. He'll uncover everything that you're hiding. This is Detective Gomez, everybody. Watch out. He'll know if you're lying. This is Detective.